Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Webhead News. Now, this month of October, I have been absent due to the coming of Little Blake, so I've been really busy. So what I'm gonna do is do a recap of all the major news that has happened over the month of October. The first thing I wanna talk about is the comic book wars between DC and Marvel. Now, this month has been major in news for these two comic book universes or comic book companies. It's been ridiculous. DC has come out with their slate of movies that's coming out and Marvel has come out with their slate of movies that is coming out. I want to go and recap on the list for the DC movies that are coming out in the next seven to ten years. Now this news has got fanboys splooging in their pants. This is ridiculous. The kind of hype that it's getting these movies are something that people have been waiting for for years and it's finally happening we know it's coming and everyone is just so excited I don't even have words to describe how I feel about this this news like I'm still in disbelief that it's really happening like I'm still like wait yeah it's still happening I I'm just lost now the first thing I want to talk about is DC's list. The list that DC has come up with, that the movies that are slated to come out. The first movie is to be out in 2016, and that is the, of, of course you guys know, the Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. Also in 2016, the Suicide Squad is scheduled to be slate. In 2017, the standalone Wonder Woman movie will be coming out. In 2017, also Justice League Part 1. We have two movies that are slated to come out in 2018. It's The Flash film, starring Ezra Miller, and The Aquaman film, starring Jason Momoa. The Shazam movie and The Justice League Part 2 movie will be coming out in 2019. And in 2020, The Green Lantern film and The Cyborg standalone film will be coming out. Now that is a slate for the DC film, or the DC universe. Now those movies are pretty exciting, but the crazy thing was, DC decided to bring out this list after Marvel was like, hey, Age of Ultron, you know, some possible Captain America 3 movie, but we don't really know what the title is, like, Marvel started giving us tidbits and hints here and there of what they're going to be doing. They came up with a few movies that were they were going to be doing, but they didn't really give us like the whole thing. Then DC was like, oh my god, we got to come back. <laughs> Hello? What the? What, what, who's there? What's going on? Whatever's happening here, just knock it off. So they came up with this list, and then just recently, like not about a week ago, Marvel comes up with this new list. Now the first on the list that we already know is coming is the Avengers Age of Ultron, which is the Avengers 2, and Ant-Man, which is supposed to be slated for next year, 2015. For 2017, for 2016, the Doctor Strange movie, okay, that movie is going to be coming out, and I believe it was, it's going to be starring Brian Cumberbatch, if I'm not mistaken, I can't remember if that's his first name, but Cumberbatch is his last name. Um, and the Captain America Civil War movie, which is going to kick off the whole, um, what is it, the Superhuman Registration Act, where it basically puts Iron Man against Captain America because they both have two politically different views. It's, it's a whole spiel. If you guys don't know it, go check it out. The comic books are out. It came out in 2006, I believe. Um, you can always go online and check it out. But the Civil War, Captain America, is due to come out 2016 along with Doctor Strange. Now, in 2017, we're due to get three movies. Guardians of the Galaxy 2, The Black Panther, Thor Ragnarok. Now, these movies are just building up to like this monumentous event that they also announced and in in 2018 it actually reaches that point that pivotal moment where it's just like everything's just up here and 2018 is when they release the Avengers Infinity War part one 
you already know that the Infinity Gauntlet is involved in this shit, and it's going down. And in 2019, they're coming out with, the very next year, they're coming out with Avengers Infinity War Part 2. So, all these movies that have been slated to come out, also Inhumans is coming out, along with Captain Marvel. Now, there's rumors, not rumors, actually, there's... It's happening. There is... Sony's doing their whole slate of movies. Sinister Six, um, The Amazing Spider-Man 3, Venom. They're doing a female lead spin-off in the Spider-Man universe. They're doing X-Men Apocalypse. They're doing a Deadpool movie. Like, all these movies are coming out between now and 2020. And it is ridiculous. The hype and... It's like, this is a fanboy's dream come true. While we're on the topic of the Marvel Universe, the Age of Ultron trailer dropped this week. It is amazing. Now, I'm going to talk about that in some other video, but I just want to play it in the background just a little bit, just so you guys can get an idea of how mind-blowing this movie is going to be. It's coming out next summer. May 1st, I believe. So, guys, definitely look forward to that. It's coming. It's coming. It's going to be fucking amazing. Other news in the comic book universe. DC, back to DC, has resurrected Robin. Now, we all know that Damian Wayne was the last Robin. And he died years ago in the comic books. Now, they've decided that they want to bring him back in this issue of Batman and Robin number 38. Damian Wayne is back to life and he is Robin yet again. Also from Marvel News, there is a new Wolverine's weekly comic book. Now this comic book, as you all know, Wolverine was killed in, in the spinoff, The Death of Wolverine comic book. There's two comic books that came out that built up to basically Logan dying. First was the Logan Legacy and the Weapon X program. Now these series of comic books that are going to be weekly revolves around characters like Sabretooth, Mystique, Dakin, and X-23 and how their lives are in a post-Wolverine world where there's no more Wolverine. So this basically revolves around them and them finding their way and what's going on with them and finding out new secrets about Logan's life before he died and that's pretty much what this comic book series is going to be about. Look for the Wolverines comic to launch in January 2015. Oh. Also in Marvel there is The Secret Wars. Now this I think is kind of the crisis that happened in the DC universe between all the different universes in DC with different alter, um, alternate uh, realities and alternate versions of superheroes in the DC universe. I think this is Marvel's way or Marvel's bit on that or their take on it but with their universe. It's basically a bunch of Marvel characters from different alternate universes from the present, from the past and they're pretty much going at it as well in this comic book. It is rumored to be coming out in 2015. There's no real, there's no date. Definitely look forward to that. In gaming news, wait. Before I continue, I just want to share this video with you. Now, in gaming news, guys, from Square Enix at the Final Fantasy Fan Festival in Los Angeles this year, they announced the expansion for Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. Now, the expansion title is going to be Final Fantasy XIV, Heaven's Sword, and the story pretty much revolves around characters, your character, main story characters, trying to find their way into heaven. Um, with the expansion, there's going to be a new level cap of up to 60. That's pretty much all the information we have right now besides this teaser trailer that is playing behind me. There is, there has been an anticipation. I mean, I witnessed this event. 
I watched it live stream and some of my friends on Instagram were filming it and pasting, posting it on Instagram and stuff and people were going crazy over this expansion. It was ridiculous. And I, I think that it's a well-placed excitement because the fact that this game has been doing so well and I mean, you go Square Enix. This game is awesome. I play it myself and I'm having a lot of Guys, from Bungie, I've been talking about Destiny. Well, December, the DLC for Destiny drops, Dark Below. Now, this expansion is supposed to be pretty big. It's, it's containing some more story missions, new strikes, new maps from, uh, for Crucible. There's a new raid called Crota's End which is supposed to be really cool. The storyline is supposed to really revolve around the moon and what was going on with the hive and the house of Crota. So that's pretty much what the storyline is gonna be about. There's gonna be new jump ships, new sparrows, new shaders for jump ships, shaders for sparrows, legendary jump ships. There's gonna be more armor, uh, more armor sets in the, the raid and in other parts there's gonna be a new level cap of 32 like there's so much stuff in this expansion coming up I'm so excited so is everyone else uh, definitely look forward to that expansion destiny the dark below coming out in December this month October some new changes have dropped for the game Wildstar by NC soft now, the game hasn't been doing so hot as of late, and they are downsizing and putting the, putting, they're mashing a lot of servers into mega servers, and that's to, uh, and that is to compensate for the lack of players on these servers. Now, there, mind you, there is still a lot of people still playing Wildstar but not enough, according to them, to have so many individual servers. So what they're doing is they're merging servers into mega servers. Now, news from Capcom. The producer, Yoshinori Ono, has stated that their games, if they don't reach 2 million, they're not gonna make sequels. They're not gonna be, I'm not gonna say not gonna make, but they're not going to be focusing on a sequel for those games if they don't reach that 2 million mark. So games like The New Devil May Cry and Dead Rising 3, Street Fighter Cross Tekken and Dragon's Dogma, titles like those don't look for sequels to those games coming out anytime soon because of the fact that they didn't really reach that cap or that mark that they were shooting for. The beta, or the alpha, for Evolve, the first person multiplayer shooter game versus, with like humans versus like gigantic monsters. This game has been uh, talked about for a little while. It looks pretty fun. It's actually, the alpha is open as of ho um, Halloween for PlayStation 4 and October 31st, which was yesterday. For Xbox One users, so Xbox Xbox One players can download the alpha if you have the code. You have to go to their website and sign up for the code. But as of October 31st, which was yesterday, Xbox One users could sign up for the alpha. And today, Halloween, PlayStation 4 players could sign up for the alpha. And it, it ends November 2nd, so they don't even have a big enough window to really enjoy the game. But it's better than nothing, I guess. Also, if you guys have not seen the trailer yet for the Avengers Age of Ultron, I will have that also on my YouTube channel, and I will also put the link down below so you can go ahead and go to it and watch it. I was really thinking about doing a skit for this episode, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, so I just decided to just get to the news, because there's so much stuff to talk about, I just didn't have the time to put the skit in there, but definitely the next episode of Webhead News will have a skit. For all of you that actually watch my skits and enjoy them, there will be a skit. So guys, that wraps up this month's, because I didn't do it every other week, but this month's episode of Webhead News. Hope to catch you guys another time. Enjoy your Halloween or whatever's left of it, and I will see you guys next time.